Hello everyone and welcome to the demo. In this demo, we will understand how project-related information can be shared using SharePoint 2010. The key ingredients for successful project management are communication and team collaboration. These ingredients can be very effectively and efficiently managed by combining products like project and SharePoint together. So what are the different ways in which you can share project-related information? The easiest thing to do would be to upload the project file directly to a SharePoint site. So I have a SharePoint site pre-built already. This is my SharePoint site. And I also have a small project created in the form of a task list in project client. As mentioned, the simplistic approach would be to upload this file directly to the website. To do so, I get into shared documents and I will upload the file directly here. I'll navigate to the area where my file is saved. And that will allow for easy upload of this project file to the SharePoint site. Now, even though this method is very easy and all project related information can become available to the stakeholders, the disadvantages, the destination machines would require project client to open and view information. Secondly, if all the team members would like to update the progress information into the project file, it will not allow simultaneous update. So to overcome these problems, SharePoint now comes with a new feature called Sync to SharePoint List. So instead of just uploading the file, we will now specifically sync the project to a specific list in SharePoint. So this will give us best of both worlds. We can share project-related information. The destination machine do not require project client loaded to view information. And also team members can now update progress information. So let's see how this can be achieved. I'll get back to my project. From the file tab, I will go to save and send. And here I see sync with task list as an option. While we are here on this interface, I would also like to talk about Save to SharePoint option. This option is similar to uploading file to the SharePoint site. The only difference is it can be invoked directly from project. You need not be in SharePoint just to upload a file. It can be done while you're working on the project file as well. Getting back to sync with task list, let's provide the correct SharePoint URL here. And I will also validate this particular URL. I can give a name to the project task list. Software development is what I call it. And next, I click on sync. So now, project is writing information into SharePoint and creating a task list for us. It says the job is completed successfully. Let's go to the respective SharePoint site. Let me refresh this page. Even though this SharePoint site looks a bit different, it doesn't matter because it's, it's just the home page which is customized. Some few web parts have been added here. So I get to see software development as a new list added here. When I click on it, it shows me scope, analysis, and training as three different summary tasks. If I click within scope, it shows me all respective activities within scope. Likewise, if I would have clicked on analysis, it would show me all the subtasks within analysis. The good news is that this is a two-way sync list available between SharePoint and project. If I make some changes here in SharePoint, it will be synced up back to the project file. 
let's assign some resource here to first activity within scope so i can click on address book search for the correct resource now mind you these resources should be a part of active directory and they should have specific permissions on the sharepoint site only then they can be assigned to activities so erica is a resource which i have assigned to the first activity within scope the moment erica is assigned she'll be notified through emails she can also log on to the system separately and update the task but before we do that let's go to project and find out if there is a sync which has already happened and if the resource name reflects erica to refresh the project file i go back to file tab and i will sync up the changes and there it goes it brings a white smile to my face to see erica assigned to the first activity called determine project scope to update the status of this activity on the sharepoint site we can sign out from the system account and sign in as erica so now when i log in as erica i see my first activity is not yet started as i progress further i update this as 100% completed and once these changes are made let us see if these changes are refreshed back into our project file and we follow the same path of syncing up with the sharepoint list and there it goes it shows the demon project scope is 100% completed now erica being a member of the team she spends most of her time in outlook rather than sharepoint or project so there is a mechanism by which she can upload her task directly from outlook rather than coming to the sharepoint site to do so while she is here in the list she can just choose the option called connect to outlook so in outlook i see sharepoint list as a new list created within which we have software development as a new task list added so once erica updates her activities from outlook it will update sharepoint and eventually it will update the project file now all this was the basic fields which i could sync to sharepoint if i have customized my project to include some custom fields for reporting and grouping it's possible even to sync up the custom fields to do so while i'm in the info tab i will choose the manage fields option let's add a new field the department field which we have customized and this field will map to a specific column called department in sharepoint and once it is done i'm going to sync the information once again like i can group my activities in project based on department or any other thing i can also group my activities in sharepoint using the custom field called department to do so i get back to the list and this time i will create a new standard group and in this new standard view i will make sure that my activities are grouped as per department so i will add department as a new field and enable the grouping option so let's choose group by department done so now within sharepoint also you'll see my activities are grouped based on the custom fields if i go within analysis all activities within analysis are also shown grouped so not only the default information but custom information can also be imported exported between sharepoint and project now all this was using project client and sharepoint 
what if you would like to make use of the enhanced capabilities of project management like saving baselines, workflow, tracking progress information, timesheets, and other full-fledged scheduling and collaboration options. In that case, we make use of project server. But now that you have already created a task list in SharePoint, you need not create the task list from scratch. There is a provision by which you can import the SharePoint list directly into project server. So I navigate to the project center. Here, I choose new project from SharePoint list. Ensure that you copy and paste the URL of the SharePoint list and choose the open list option. So it says software development is a new project which will be imported into your project center. It says the name already exists so let's give this a little different name. And once imported in project center you can make use of all enhanced scheduling capabilities of project server. So we saw three different levels of how you can manage projects. We began from project client, moved on to SharePoint, and then to project server. So from basic to highly advanced capabilities of managing projects using the enterprise project management components. So that's what was in demo to be shown. Hope you enjoyed the demo and you found it truly useful.